Hey everybody, welcome back. I accidentally screwed this up and I was going to do the four set using some colors I already recorded and then I had just finished the set from the previous video and I just started layering the same colors. I've just been really absent-minded today. So I already have Nicolazo Gold and Cupid Crush, Cupid's Crush down on top of my pillow paint and this is sweet tart um so i'm just gonna see like what they look like together so i'm not gonna waste that paint um you know i've already said that sometimes i struggle to pick colors and put them together so why not let's give it a shot and i also i'm on the fence as to whether or not I should add this twisted lemon or add French kiss to that. Huh. You know what? Let's do let's do twisted lemon. Just a little bit. It's gonna probably make some of this blue give us a little green, so gonna use too much and then I think I'm gonna top it with a little bit of the golden honey because I like the way that that looked and makes me feel so silly that I did that big bubble right there and I'm gonna put a tiny bit of white Also, when I was doing the fourth coaster in the other set with the Cupid's Crush, I totally forgot to put the little Persian Rose color underneath. I'm gonna put just a tiny bit of white under the black. For all we know, this might be like the best accidental combination ever. So that's why I started recording, because I was like, what if it works out great and I don't have a record of it? That's too much cell activator. I have done some really harebrained things today. Okay. This is also like way off center. Okay. Well, let's give it a second to develop. I didn't move the cell activator enough from the center, so we have this weird black stuff right here. So I'm trying to like keep it from developing into like a crazy vein. But honestly, it's super colorful. Um, let me see how well you can see it. Super colorful. Whoa. I don't hate it. Sorry, I just probably stuck my head right in front of the camera. It's different than I probably would have done on purpose, but I like it. So we'll spin it out. We obviously, by putting the yellow on top of the blue, got almost like a green gold, which is cool. So let's spin it out and see what happens. I was just like putting the paint on. I was like, wait a minute, what am I doing? I was just going to basically do the fourth coaster from the one I didn't finish last night. Honestly, really cool. 
they're super um, like rainbow looking cells. I don't know how much of that will hold out until we finish spinning, but um, <laughs> that white right underneath the black trick always works really well. And it worked with the Persian rose, but the Persian rose blended into the color a little bit more than the white does. <clears throat> I may have just pulled it out of the view. Yeah, I did. I haven't zoomed in too much. Okay, there we go. And I'm trying, I'm trying really hard to not put too much paint on there because I want to keep some of the dimension of the petal part. And then I always tend to blow the center out too, too much instead of blowing the individual. But look at that. That's really pretty. I kind of like it. Like super, um, super different. Still very colorful and like there's a lot of different colors. So I don't know if anybody's ever seen that green gold color that Golden makes. I don't have it, but I've seen it. So the mixture of the um, the twisted lemon next to the what am I trying to say next to the blue, especially with the gold that we kind of added on the top, really added that color in in some places and it really looks like we did that on purpose so and then the the cupid's crush and the sweet tart added a little bit of a purple tinge in some places so it really looks like we like did like basic fundamental colors all together on purpose That's pretty cool like a primary color bloom there's this one corner that needs a little attention, and honestly, the composition is not too shabby either. So, happy accident. Let's see. <clears throat> and it gave us a chance to play around with another two colors. So, I was actually pondering using nickel azo gold in a bunch of them just because it creates a pretty cool color dimension. And I like to play around with, like, okay, I tried this with the black in the puddle. What happens if I change this color and change this color and keep this in the... So sometimes I like to do that because you can kind of see all of the different things you might get. Okay, let me give you a close-up. Honestly, one of the coolest blooms I've ever done. And we did it by accident. It's probably not colors I maybe would have put together on purpose because, you know, I like my purples and teals and kind of the stick to the safe things, but that's exactly what we don't want to do all the time. Sometimes we want to explore. Okay. Um, I need to turn my ring light off. Hold on. Because you're not going to be able to see the... All right, check it out. So this part, you see these cells? Like the dimension is really remarkable. <clears throat> this is the part I was telling you is sort of like if we had added the green gold, sorry about my my finger with all the paint, and then look at the beautiful development right here. This is that nickel azo with the cupid's crush. And look at that gorgeous golden yellow that you get from those colors. And just of course the sparkle. You can't ever go wrong with that. And the weird little milky white outline is that tiny bit of white we put underneath the black that's pretty cool i'm i'm gonna call that pleasantly surprised i need to clean off my turner because my pillow paint is drying and it's doing some goobery things that are pretty gross but yeah let me know what you think about about my happy accident um <clears throat> i know this was brief but um well actually it's not that brief now but uh, like, subscribe, leave me a comment. What do you think? Do you like the colors? You think we should do more stuff like that again? And if um, if you haven't taken Shelly's class, there's a 15% off promo code in the description box below. And it's definitely worth taking. 20% off color art using Mandy1120. This set, 
the Be Still My Heart is only good through March 15th. So grab them while you can. Super beautiful. So we use three colors today. And then I will try to link the video where we introduce the colors in the description box. And of course we have a live coming up. I'm not even sure if that will be after this video, but um, but yeah, uh, our paint pouring group is below fluid art friends. And if you enjoy using color art, join acrylic pouring with color art. It's a great Facebook group. And I also make the live announcements in that group too. So thank you guys so much and, uh, stay warm and safe. Bye. For those of you who follow our channel, I thought you might like to see the noise makers that always make funky noises and drink water. This guy right here is tough. He is um, not tough, and he's a little, it's a little fluffy, but he's pretty cute, aren't you? Speaking of making noises, can you not? And this is Chloe. This is the one that tries to be right where I am, even when I'm painting, right underneath my feet. And she usually makes some weird noises when we're doing voiceovers, because she likes to share her opinion. As you can tell, they're kind of two peas in a pod, you see, always together. Probably wondering why I'm talking to myself, but I thought you might like to know who the noisemakers are.